Hi guys, Scott Matner here with uh, an introduction to uh, my Matner Movie Musings. Um, upon posting my uh, first video, I realized that I'd uh, forgotten to um, set any star structure or give any actual um, final uh, rating to any of the the movies um, that I that I reviewed. So I thought I'd take this time just to kind of discuss that. So basically. Um, I mean, I'm kind of going to kind of go with a kind of a hit or miss um, style rating. Um, you know, uh, obviously the movie's good. It's a hit. And if not, it's a miss. It's pretty uh, simple going there. Uh, but I also uh, will be giving a star rating uh, to each individual movie. And I thought I'd just uh, briefly discuss that. It's also pretty self-explanatory. But uh, I thought, you know, just in case, it's always good to have a little uh, perspective on, on that. So, of course... Uh, starting off, I do a, a based on a five uh, star scale. So uh, you're going to be, uh, you know, obviously, so five stars, obviously, excellent, great, near perfect or nearly perfect uh, movie. Um, and then, you know, four and a half uh, is going to be obviously, or, you know, a near, you know, near miss or, you know, just, uh, you know, barely under, under the grade there uh, from being a perfect or near perfect movie. Um, and then you got four stars, which means, you know, it's, it's very good. Definitely recommended. Um, definitely, you know, would, would suggest you seeing it. Um, and then three and a half is almost good. Just not quite just, uh, that's the one that, you know, really just falls short, um, of, of being a good movie. Um, so most, most three and a half are, are going to be movies I wouldn't quite recommend, uh, almost recommend. Um, in, in most cases I, you know, I, I almost, uh, want to recommend it, but just can't quite. Uh, and then you've got three stars, which basically means, you know, it was an okay movie. It was, you know, had some good things, had some bad things, usually about, you know, evenly, evenly matched there. Um, but definitely kind of weighing down towards the, you know, the not, not so good. Um, and then of course, anything below that is pretty much just going to be, uh, you know, some movies that I would not, you know, recommend, uh, you know, you got two and a half, two stars. Uh, uh, I mean, to be honest, they're, they're essentially the same, uh, same thing. Um, you know, the two and a half is just, uh, it's just, not, you know, again, not quite to where it's like an okay movie that I might slightly, you know, find some positives on. Um, and then, you know, two stars, um, is just going to be like, uh, you know, I would steer clear. And then finally there's bomb, which just means obviously, you know, just steer clear of this, this, this movie's a mess. It's horrible. Um, you know, you, you don't want to have anything thing to do with this. Um, and, and mainly the difference between two stars and bomb is, you know, with two stars, at least you, you've got something there. There's some, some quality, um, that that was working or at least you could see some some sort of attempt some some sort of effort uh most most bombs are just they're they're just there's you can't find any redeeming qualities um in the movie whatsoever um and of course i'll be you know discussing those in further detail on a case-to-case -case basis uh, so yeah so that basically uh covers that now as far as the hit or miss you know hits are mostly going to be the the four four and a half uh, five star movies, uh, the misses are going to be pretty much anything below there. Uh, now there is that gray area with three and a half star movies where I may, uh, give it a three and a half and still, still consider it a hit, still recommend it. Cause there's enough there that I feel that, you know, that you guys would enjoy it. That it's still worth, uh, worth making an effort to see or, or, or catching it. Um, you know, if, if you're able to, um, but, um, but yeah, so that's basically how that's gonna, gonna go. So uh, I hope you enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching.